and welcome to sunny Canger. I'm far from Italy and for the next three months I will be diving deep into the most common summer habits of fit. For this series I selected three habits and in this very first episode I will be talking about or better showing you the Mekki culture aka the summer cottage. Let's go! And here we are in Kesamekki, that it's usually a cabin in the middle of the forest and by a lake, far from the city. I would have liked to film this outside, but the Finnish weather is a little bit tricky sometimes. It can be very sunshiny in the morning, but then in a couple of hours can just transform completely in a windstorm. So here I am from the inside of the cabin. This is exactly the place where Finns disconnect from every bother of life to just find their inner peace again. I will be spending here the next 24 hours to show you exactly what a Finn would do in a typical very Finnish summer weekend in Mekki and all the benefits that come from it. One of the most amazing perks of being here is that you are not supposed to do anything and I would say that spending time in Mekki is like practicing the art of being. Slow living is the protagonist. Where is nature to guide you? You are by yourself or with your friends and loved ones and the only thing you can do is being present. You don't have to escape anywhere else because you are exactly where you are supposed to be, oneself with the universe. Here to appreciate the small things is so easy, like feeling the wind on your face and the touch of the water in your skin it's impossible to not find peacefulness in a place like this. For me, Mekki also means spending time with people I love. My sister, for example. We never had the chance to spend the summer in Finland together since we moved here and this was a nice place to inaugurate the season. The weather didn't allow us to do a lot this time, but it's okay because this is kind of part of the experience. Usually there's a bunch of activities to do in Mekki, like canoeing, going with the boat, water skiing and playing with friends in the yard. Then of course there's no Mekki without sound experience. In here we have a wooden one, where the entire process of heating up the sauna is mindfulness itself. Something I've never done before is heating the sauna myself, so I guess the day arrived. That's it. <laughs> For Finnish people, sauna is a holy place. The benefits are plenty, and especially they involve both mental and physical. The sauna can reach up to 110 degrees, ours was at 90, and then we throw lolo, which makes the air perceive hotter. And that's why there you sweat a lot and your body expels a lot of toxins. And other benefits are pain reduction, anti-aging, skin rejuvenation, improved cardiovascular functions and relaxation. And there's actually a study that shows that sauna has a habit can reduce the risk of stroke. Now, being 10 minutes in 90 degrees with all that steam, you feel so hot that swimming in the lake looks like a good idea. For me, this sounds a good idea for the first seconds, just until I touch the water and then just change my mind. What's the temperature? 22. 22. Basta. Head. Let's go! <laughs> but are you sure you want this kind of video in the internet? Atena, I'm here! Bravo! My favorite moment is always in the night when the temperature drops and the atmosphere becomes magical. At midnight, the sky is still light and it is the moment to get cozy on the terrace. 
A good company, the sound of silence, and the water against the shore are the perfect background to relax and say bye to the day that just passed.